Previously on Broken Sylvia, I repaired the damaged area in the engine bay of the Skyline, but in this episode we will continue pulling apart the car to prepare it for the rotisserie, and finally check out some cars that are not broken. While the car was still on the lift, my friend Sean and I started pulling apart the underside of the car before taking the car off the lift and doing the rest on jack stands. We also cracked the nuts on the front and rear subframes as the subframes will be getting removed to get reinforced and powder coated. So our job right now was to remove the front wheels to get access to the front suspension. All we had to do is remove a few nuts and bolts that connects the front suspension to the car itself. All the suspension components are bolted to the subframe and the subframe is bolted to the car. To remove the subframe it's an easy process, it's just four nuts. Make sure you have a jack underneath it to hold it and then just lower it once it's all loose. Taking apart the front end this way is easier because you can remove everything that is connected to the subframe on the floor instead of on the car and makes life a lot easier when it comes to filming the whole process. Now with the front subframe removed, Sean had to hold down the front of the car because it was unbalanced of the jack stands as there was no weight over the front of the car. So while he was holding that down, I kind of jacked up the back end and slowly repositioned the jack stands so the car is nice and balanced. After that, we both moved onto the back of the car to remove the rear subframe. To remove the rear subframe is again, a super easy process. To do the job, you're going to have to remove the two nuts that hold the top of the coilover to the car on both sides. And after that, you place a jack underneath the subframe and remove the four nuts holding it in place. Slowly drop the subframe and it's out. These cars are really nice to work on as they are super simple and replacement or upgraded parts are readily available. So the next step is to take the rest of the outside of the car apart. So instead of me worrying about having to keep the doors open or the boot open, I'm just gonna pull them off because it has to come off anyways.
So generally how I work is I tend to rush things and I always use the S14 as the example because that is the first car I ever rebuilt. Uh, pretty much when I took that car apart, every nut, bolt, washer and bracket just got put in one single bucket. Now I thought that was going to save me time but in the long run when you have to go put the car back together, it's an absolute nightmare. So with this R34 I've really been taking my time with everything uh, to do it properly. And I've gotten some plastic sandwich bags in different sizes that I'm going to use for different parts of the car and just label what goes where to make my life easier when I have to go put it back together. So because I closed the door, it actually latched on on the inside. So now I have to carefully take this door off, even though it's damaged, I might still need a few bits and pieces. So I've never pulled apart an interior and my comfort zone is probably as far as removing seats. Uh, this is going to be something next level for me because it's a fiddly job. There's a lot of plastic clips, uh, wiring as well. I hate wiring. So it's going to be a scary process but I'll make sure to take photos and videos just so I know how this goes back together one day and hopefully I don't lose the footage otherwise I don't know who's going to put this back together but I guess we're going to have to start and see how we go. Unfortunately, I cannot show every single detail because the episodes would be about 15 hours long instead of 15 minutes. But in terms of pulling apart the interior, it's actually quite a simple process. The dashboard being the hardest to take out, which was actually really easy. Rad Rado makes a video locating a few of the bolts and nuts that are hard to get to and not visible. So go check out his channel if you want to um, remove a dashboard in a R34 Skyline. And I'm pretty sure the Sylvia's are very similar as well. So with most of the interior and the exterior of the car now pulled apart, it's time to concentrate on the boot. So there's a lot of wiring and just general junk laying around in the boot. Anything that was loose, I straight away removed from the boot, but the wiring, instead of unplugging it and losing track on how to put it back in, all I'm going to do is remove that uh, metal plate that sits behind the rear seats and I'm gonna feed all that wiring back into the interior. Now, 
a lot of that wiring and those boxes that look like computers, I believe has, has to do something with Hikus, the four-wheel drive, um, the four-wheel steering system, uh, which will get deleted anyways. So I'm going to have to look into it, but I'm pretty sure most of that can go in the bin. there we have it the car is almost fully stripped with the interior this is kind of as far as I want to go because I'm scared if I continue pulling it apart I'm not going to know how to put it back together but the carpet will get replaced with a brand new one and the headliner will be retrimmed black the engine bay needs the wiring harness fed back into the interior the boot is stripped and ready to receive some love and the underside of the car is now fully stripped, which means it's time to pack up the workshop and wait for my friend Mickey to swing by to start making a plan on how we are going to mount this car onto a rotisserie. So there we have it. That'll be it for another episode on the Skyline Rebuild. In the next episode, I'll show in detail how we mounted the car onto the rotisserie and we will either be restoring the underside of the car or preparing it for paint. If you like this sort of content, consider subscribing or check out the Instagram page for live updates and behind the scenes. Now the question is, what color are we gonna paint it? The ideas are getting better and better by the day. I barely could trust it. I talked to a shorty, she bagging the bucket. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I did read the pot. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the pot. I can't be mixing.